Today we're going to learn how to add two digit numbers and then we are going to use pennies and dimes to check our answers. We're going to take a look at this problem. It is 23 cents plus 47 cents. It's much easier to answer this question if we write it vertically or on top of each other. If we write it this way then we can easily see which digits are in the ones place or the pennies. We have 3 plus 7. Well we know that 3 plus 7 is 10. But hmm, we've learned that we cannot put two digits in one column. We can only put one digit in a column. So we are going to put the number that is in the ones place or the digit that's in the ones place here and our other number we're just going to sneak it right in there. Some people put it on top and that's fine. Now we have 2 plus 4 which is 6 plus 1 which is 7. Hmm, if we had tried to put 10 here, look at what our answer would have been. It would have been a crazy answer. 3 plus 7 is 10 and 2 plus 4 is 6. Hmm, there's a pretty big difference between 610 and 70, isn't there? Well, let's check this with our money. In this one, we have 23 cents, 21, 2, 3, and then 47. 1, 2, 3, 4, or 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 7 cents. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, it certainly does not look like there's 610 cents here, does it? Well, let's count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. <gasps> Which one was right? 70 or 610? 70. Now, I want you to see why we do not put 10 in the ones place. It's because we can make a group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I have 10 cents that I can trade in for a dime. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Let's try this again. Here in this question, we have 58 cents plus 28 cents. It is much easier to write this vertically or on top of each other than it is horizontally or beside. When we're doing this, we need to make sure that the numbers in the ones place or the pennies are above each other and the dimes or the tens place are right above each other. Well, here we have eight plus eight and that is a doubles fact and we know that eight plus eight is 16. We are going to write our 16 this way, a one and a six. Well, what if we didn't write it that way? What if we were just, we forgot and we were being a little bit silly and we wrote our 16 just like that? Hmm. Well, let's try it. And here we have five plus two, that's seven, plus one more, eight, 86 cents. Five plus two is seven. Hmm, which one makes more sense? 86 cents or 716 cents? Oh, well, let's test it. Here we have 58 cents plus 28. Well, if we were just to count our pennies and our dimes, we would see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes and eight plus eight, 16 pennies. But hmm, that's really not how we figure it out, is it? 
we're going to count all of our dimes first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. <gasps> Do you know why? It's because we can take 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and trade those in for a dime. That gives us eight dimes and six pennies. So don't forget, we can't put two numbers in one column. In our next question, we have eight cents plus 42 cents. Hmm, did you notice how I wrote this? I didn't put the eight over the four because it's not eight groups of dimes. It's just eight pennies. So if we have eight plus two, we know that's 10. And four plus one is five. Well, let's try this. Here we have eight cents and then 42 cents, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. We can add our pennies together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We can trade these 10 pennies for one dime. And that gives us 50 cents. Well, really, we had 50 cents before. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I would love for you to practice this today. Have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.